Hello, we're live again. Are we on TikTok? Welcome to Back to the Blind Chef. We'll see if we can get some uh, people who are going to um, go live with us. Give us a few minutes and I'm going to show what we're going to go and do today. So, see if we get some people on and see where we go from. Got anybody on yet? Yeah. How many have we got on? Couple. Couple. Hello, people. Thank you to uh, the Blind Chef going live. Obviously, we've had some lovely weather. Um, obviously, you know, it's been too hot to cook or do whatever. So, what I'm going to do now is what I've learned over the years. So I've got some lamb roll here. I'm gonna mint that uh, with mushrooms, uh, onions and peppers in minted like a powder and just a jar of sauce. And I'll do that. And um, over here, I've got a boatload of Prawns. King prawns. And, and these, are, these are the mushrooms. Yeah. Look at mushrooms, right? What I've done, I've cut them like that. There's a little sneaky trick for you. Put them in cold water, around five, five minutes or so, and the easier to go on a skewer and they don't split. Uh, as I say, there's my prawns, which they're uncooked. My skewers are here. Now listen, I'm going to put mine in the oven on skewers. But if you put them on the barbecue, you buy these bamboo skewers, leave them in water for a few hours and they don't burn on the barbecue. That's a little trick for you. So right, let's get back and do this as fast as I can. Right, what I'm going to do, that board is my vegetable board. I've got some lemongrass, root ginger. Uh, usually I like using fresh garlic, but what I've done in my cupboard, well, I've been you can buy these, you get like a little oven bag in them, and you get like your sauces. This is just like a garlic powder, so they're going to go with the prawns. So I'm just going to put that on there. Right, here we go, people. So, got that there, that's our lamp. What I'm going to do first, I've tried to try to be as quickly as I can. I'm going to put them there, them over there. Right, any coloured peppers you want. What I've done, I've just sliced them in half and took the pith out of them, right? Onions. If you go into YouTube, the blind chef, you'll see a blind person peel an onion. And obviously so on and so forth, right? So what I'm gonna do is get, huh, I'm gonna use this one over here because I've only got so many, sorry about that. I'm gonna use this bowl here where the uh, skills were in. So here we go. I'm going to put there, there's that, and I've got a cleaver. Be careful people, you don't like using them, do not use it. Chunks. Like that. Just cut them in half. These want to go on your skewers. So look at that. About so big. There we go. As I say, I'm used to it, so be careful, watch your fingers. If you don't like big knives, don't use them. Bro, I will tell you, blunt knives are the worst thing going. You want chunkiness. It's easy got to go on a skewer. It's a be all chunky you want it. Say, so look, it's flaking off a bit, it doesn't matter. Raw onion, lovely. You want them on the skewer. What's left? You don't use bins. I'll use it for something else. So I'm going to do all this first. A little bit of prep. I'm doing it as well, as I say, for blind people so they can follow me. Your peppers, do whatever, rip it, look. 
Good, good. Because they're going to go on your skewer. And what I've done as well, as I say, you can do this for your barbecue. I'm going to do it in the oven. Any questions, anybody? Any different coloured pepper you want? As I say, I'm doing this as, as one as fast as I can. There you go, just rip it. There we go, we're just going to mix them up, whatever. Right, let's do the rest of our onions. If you look on YouTube, you'll see how a blind person peels an onion. That's it. Blind Chef, YouTube, TikTok, which we on. There we go, just like that. You want them nice and, well, that one's a bit too big, fair enough. And it goes on to your, uh, your skewer. I say some might be too big, it doesn't matter. Because the end of the day when you put them on your skewers, Sometimes they will split. Just going to shut them in there now. As I say, it's just our prep. Just chunky. As I say, look at watch, you can split it if you don't want it that thick. There you go, done. One more. When you peel an onion, you don't want to look. Say if you go that way to tail, I've found out you're better off not. Put it on the side, slice it, then we've got a friend. Give us two minutes, please. I know we're on live. Give us two minutes, but we've got a friend. So I'm just going to do that. While Lorraine does that, I'm just going to wash my hands. It might be a big producer. <laughs> Is anyone there, Lush? Give us two minutes. Any like, shares, and comments would be much grateful, please, as well, guys. And everybody who follows, we do follow back as well. He does have a YouTube channel called The Blind Chef, uh, created by Lorraine Winsbier on YouTube as well. So. We shut the door. Just one of our friends just popped in. So she can, uh, she's giving you a little challenge, my friend here. So as I say, we're back on here. So there's our onions, peppers, they're all cooked. Jesse, lie down. So there we go, there's them. Lie down, please. So I'm just doing that. So that's going to be put to one side. Right. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to put that to one side. And there's all, look at that, there's all our fresh peppers, Ash. <laughs> she didn't say nothing. Sat in the corner. Gary, Gary, don't. As I say, there's our, our fresh prawns. There's our mushrooms, what I did say. Put them in water. Go whatever. it. Now, I'm going to get this bowl. It's going to be a quick wash. Right, it's got soapy suds in here. A little tip for you. Put your tap over there. Cold water. Because otherwise, your food will smell like washing up liquid, which we don't want. There you go, there's that done. So we're going to give it a quick dry. Okay. 
As I say, the oven's already on. There's that. So I'm going over to here now, our lamp. Put that there. Right, that's okay there. All right, I've used veg on that one, but what now? So I'm going to go for our... Do you want to feel this, Ash? <laughs> she didn't say now, she loved him. <laughs> It's only had veg on it, but I'll still there. Uh, still wash it. Ashley's my favourite barmaid in one of my local pubs. But she sat there, doing a dance here now. I just sharpened this up a little bit because obviously when you use veg, it can go a little bit blunt. You got any questions, Ash? <laughs> you didn't say I'll tell you not. Can I want to ruin your video? <laughs> you, you don't have to ruin my video. That's what it's all about. Right, got me chopping board. Nice lamb roll there. It's going to go in there. I can put it back in here or whatever. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slice it. As I say, doesn't matter how you do it, just slice it into bits. As I say, it's a lamb roll, out of our as the price, but do do do. <laughs> Just cut it into chunks. And you'll see why as the video progresses. So the same. Right, you want chunks about that big? I'm just going to put them in the bowl here. There you go. See the chunks coming a bit? Well, about so big. That's a little bit too big, but there we go. Hi, hey, blonde, saying hello, you guys. Hiya, blonde. Long time no here. <laughs> Are you okay? Look at that. Nice big just chunks. It's only going to go up. A little bit. It's just going to go on the skewer. As I say, you can barbecue this, but obviously, I want to do mine. I'm doing work. great, thanks. What's for tea today? <laughs> what we've got is that blondie. Yeah. What we've got, blondie, you might have missed it a little bit. We've got some lamb roll. What you want to do with mint sauce. Uh, obviously, the video will go on. YouTube, so the bit you've missed, if you go onto that, the Bland Chef, you'll see how exactly how I started. Um, and what I've done, how to do your, uh, your cocktail sticks, your mushrooms, because as I said, your mushrooms, if you put them in water, sometimes mushrooms are too dry when you put them on your, uh, I'm saying cocktail stick, it, it isn't, it's a bloody uh, kebab stick. <laughs> they split, so put them in water, and they don't. Right, I'm doing this as fast as. There we go. Just chunks we want. I think I've got them all. Yep. Go there. I'm just going to wash this and pour it away because obviously it's sharp knives. I was actually alright. Yes, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just going to wash that part away and put it in the middle, middle sink. And I'm going to get rid of that because as I say it was raw meat. And that's just going to go over there for now. Right. So now the lamb has got here. I'm going to use a little bit of brown black pepper. You know what I'm like with this? Love it. Good for you. Just a touch of that. And in this cupboard here... It wasn't even sharp. Is he blind? It wasn't even sharp, wasn't William it? William C. whoever. Is he really blind? No, is he blind? Phone. Yes, he is blind. And yes, it was sharp. You wouldn't like to fail it. But hey-ho. Everybody has their own... Like the everybody, everybody has their opinion. Uh, what's that? It's our little bit of... Um, I can't remember the bloody name now. 
Is it turmeric or something? Turmeric, and it's good for you. Just a little bit of this on the lamp. For all you uh, alcoholics out there, get some of this in here, cleans the liver out. <laughs> Bye. Bye, William. A little bit of turmeric in there. That wasn't even sharp. <laughs> He's put, oh my God, I'm off. That was sharp enough, how did it slice the meat? Didn't realise, he didn't realise that you were blind. Fair enough. Everyone to the own. Right, uh, what we got in here, I'll find them. There's a pair. Right, pack them in this sauce. Oh yeah, Ashley, everyone needs a little bit of what? Sauce. 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 Right, just powder. I'm just going to crunch it up. Like that. It'll go in, it'll all go together. Blonde had is today with loads of spice. Nice one, blonde. What do you reckon of my videos, blonde? Are you intrigued or just. Or do you like the recipes? Any likes, comments, shares, more than welcome, please. There's that little bit of powder on there. I don't know why, this is one a little bit tough, but must have been one of the packets. There we go. I've got mint sauce here, because what it is, I'm doing this because I've had a challenge of our little Ashley. She I love the recipes and learning how you get it and learning how you go about cooking whilst being blind amazing Ashley's done me a little challenge mint little lamb as I say you put this on the barbecue if you go back to the video or when it goes on YouTube you'll see exactly how I've uh, actually started a few tips right that's that but that's going to be marinated okay I'm just going to wash my hands Full of mint sauce. A little bit of, what, what's it called, Ashley? Mint sauce. Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody a little bit what, Ash? Sauce. Oh, no, have you promised? Ah, oh, you haven't. <laughs> Ashley's dead shy, God bless her. Right, Only that. when she wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to put that to one side. That's going to marinate for a little bit, right? So basically now, I'm going to do that bowl's clean, yep. So I'm going to do it, yep. Your prawns. Our prawns. So, as I say, these are uncooked prawns. You get them out of a shop. <laughs> okay, you get them out of them. Um, foods. Fan foods. I know them. I've defrosted them. Put them in cold water and defrost them or defrost them overnight. So there's our prawns. I'm going to put them straight in this bowl over here. There we go. How's that? Put that over there. Wash one's hands. Going back over here. Right, as I say, I've done peppers and bits of bobs on this, but it's nothing. Worn arm. We've got lemongrass, root ginger. And these packets, you know, you get the oven packets, you buy them about 60 odd pence and you get like the, uh, like the, the oven bag what goes in them. Sometimes I don't use it, but it's just, this is just a garlic powder. Usually I like using fresh garlic, but at the end of the day, use what you've got in the oven. oven. In the oven, in the cupboard. In the cupboard. Yeah, we all make mistakes, no one's perfect. <laughs> By the way, chuckle, chuckle. Well, it's raw, isn't it? No one's perfect. Right, so there's that, that. And there's another one I'm going to use. So there's them two. Our prawns. Oh, sharp, your little knife. Let's see. Thank you. Right. Slip this bag. Put these on the prawns. 
Astrid's like coming, am I too early? <laughs> put that one there, I'll put that one there. Recycle bin. That's a garlic powder, as I say, garlic powder, garlic salt. Don't put too much garlic salt because you might spoil that stuff. Fresh garlic. Put that there. Right, I'm just going to go back to the old air. Excuse the pun. Chopper. Ashley's giggling in the front room there, laughing at the same Gary. <laughs> right, go ginger. There you go, mate. It's not sharp enough, isn't it? Do that. There's that. Lemongrass. I'll use the small one. I'm fine. I'm just going to tail it. Can you hear how crunchy that is? How fresh it is? And I'm going to go to about there. Listen. How tough's that? So if this is not sharp. Why would you allow a chef to have tattoos? Because I can. <laughs> what a bloody question. Why can't I? Exactly. There's that lemongrass cut in the bits. Blonde, why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. She is blonde. Exactly. Well, we like that with What was the last time blonde woman? When blonde I eat out, I always ask to see the chef. Okay, so you're asked to see the chef. And if they've got tattoos, you won't eat. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've had everything now. Yeah, exactly. Some of the best chefs I've got tattoos. What's the matter to anybody at? So, anyway. There we go. I've chopped that lemongrass and. Root ginger. Oh, root ginger. I won't tolerate anyone with tattoos cooking for me. Well, don't watch it then. Go away. You bother me. Scroll on. <laughs> Jog on. What do you see, Ash? Do one. Do one, exactly. Hey, I'm totally blind if I want tattoos or whatever. It's not just for sighted people, it's for blind people. Like a bit of ground black pepper. Don't know, that's very sad. Uh, blonde said, that's very sad to like wet. To exactly. You don't judge a book by its colour. Exactly. And I've read loads of books, I'll listen to them. <laughs> Blonde, I bet you miss out on some amazing food. <laughs> exactly. Right, there's all that. I'm going to put in, you see me though, Blonde, or whoever else is on there. Chefs don't have tattoos. <laughs> I've heard it all. <laughs> all right. So there's all that mixed in. I suppose doctors don't have tattoos and surgeons. Uh, surgeons, but most of them these days actually have tattoos. That's body art. Everybody has them these days, more or less. I must admit, yes. I don't like. <laughs> so all that's been, we're going to get marinated. There's that. We don't want to get so. I'm going to leave it as that. Yeah, they don't. You've showed me how, I've showed you how to do it. How to marinate it. Don't worry, you can cook this on the barbecue. So what I'm going to do, let it marinate for a little bit. I'm going to put it on sticks and it's going to go in the oven in tin foil. And then we'll do whatever. We'll do a daft little video after that. So, for people who's watching, thank you. Please go into the Blind Chef on YouTube. Or I've got a Facebook account, Blind Chef, created by Lorraine Winspire. I better get her in because I get, in case I get bread. Anyway, <laughs> no. Um, but there we go. So, thanks, people. And we shall see you in a matter of hour or so. Um, thank you very much. Everybody who sent um, gifts as well, much appreciated. Oh, thank you for sending us gifts. And we will be back to show you the results after this is marinated within about an hour. Yes, he is blind. He is absolutely blind. So eat your words, Dan Toss, wherever your name is.
<laughs> and we'll see you soon, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Like, comment, share, and follow. Everyone who follows, we do follow back. Okay.